right of people to bear arms. Do you have a gun? Do you own a gun? No. Do you think the people should have the right to own a gun? To protect themselves? Yeah. Do you think American citizens should have the right to own guns? No. No, why not? To be able to buy the guns. Because? Huh? Because what? To be able to buy the guns. Well, there's a couple of things to understand about America. Uh, one is that it's a constitutional republic where we protect people's rights that are inalienable given from God and not from government. And in the process of doing that, we put together a constitution that also has a Bill of Rights. And one of the most important is the Second Amendment that, defend, that gives the people the right to keep and bear arms. And in essence, that's the amendment that protects all the other amendments in our country. It, it secures all the rest of the amendments because when they take the freedom of speech away, then the only thing you're left with, if they take your vote away and your freedom of speech away, the only thing you're left with is the Second Amendment. Then you have to use it because now they've overstepped their bounds, they've broken their oath that they've taken with their hand on the Bible, right? Swearing to Almighty God to uphold this, and so they broke their oath, so then you're forced into a situation just like they were at Lexington and Concord, where they had to use guns against a, a tyrannical British government. It, guns protect freedom. That, that's what it comes down to. If you want to be free, you, you need to have a government that fears you. War for independence you know, the British were taking arms away from people. And the people said, no, you're not going to take our arms away from us. And they were quartering troops in people's houses. And they're like, okay, we're not free anymore. So because the, the American people had guns, they were able to fight off the British Empire. That's the, that is the ultimate example right there. If you look across the country, the places that have the strongest gun control uh, almost always have the strongest crime rates. New York City and Washington, D.C. would be the best examples. California would follow suit. Uh, the funnest example that I always cite is Kennebrook, uh, Georgia, where in reaction to New York City and the gun control crowd, uh, they passed an ordinance that required every home to have a gun. Uh, it was a $25 fine. I mean, they didn't go around enforcing it. But it got all kinds of publicity and, you know, attention when they did this. Well, it turned out their burglary rate went down 84% the year after they passed this law. And for I, the last time I checked, it had been 10 or 15 years, it had stayed very low. Uh, again, because criminals understand that they, they don't want to go into a home that has guns. But if they understand, the criminals know that there are some guns in a neighborhood or if there's a neighborhood watch program where people are watching out for each other, then they will go for the easier targets. Uh, the best example of that is Florida. A few years ago, they passed a concealed carry permit law. Uh, huge controversy, lots of press. Uh, the legislature finally passed it. And in a state with millions of people, I think there was only 110,000 permits that were actually issued. Very few people actually went out and got a permit to carry a gun. But the criminals became so intimidated, they didn't know which of the millions of people had it. But there was one group that they knew didn't have guns, and that was the people coming away from the airports because you can't carry a gun on an airplane. So suddenly the rental cars at airports were targeted for hijacking and burglaries, and it just skyrocketed. They actually had to take the markings off of the cars so the criminals couldn't tell who the rental cars were to solve that. So it shows you that you don't have to have, as I say, everybody armed. You just have to have an armed citizenry. And uh, another tragic example that we should learn from are the schools. Uh, the reason we have so many school shootings today is because they are gun-free zones. Uh, if you become crazy and you want to go shoot people and not be hurt, the, sa the school is the safest place to do it. Um, if we had one in ten teachers uh, trained to carry a firearm or have one available on the campus, um, school shootings would stop. 
And, you know, that used to be the way things were. I mean, we had gun training and safety classes right on the schools uh, just a generation ago, and you didn't have school shootings. Well, if you look at it from a worldwide perspective, all of the major atrocities from the Soviet Union's 70-year uh, reign of terror to Nazi Germany to even Rwanda and the African nations where genocide is committed with machetes, uh, there is always, in advance of that, uh, arms control. In other words, they have to remove the weapons from the citizenry to be able to do those kind of atrocities. So ultimately, it's about power. Uh, if the citizens are not armed, then the government has the power to do whatever it wants. The most egregious example in history is that of Nazi Germany. Uh, many of the gun control laws in America that legislators like to come up with are often modeled after the laws from the 1920s and 1930s where they disarmed the citizens of Germany. The oppression of the, of the Third Reich could not have happened had there been any armed resistance in these communities, especially the Jewish communities. Probably another six million Christians died there, so somewhere around 12 million people there got killed. You know, it's just that simple. You t disarm the people, then you can lead them to the slaughter. And so, yeah, there's plenty of examples, and that's just in the past 100 years. Well, Switzerland's a positive example of where they didn't take the guns away, where the citizenry there is required to have automatic weapons, every citizen in Switzerland is required to have automatic weapons and that's why that country is still free and has never been taken over because every citizen is the army is the military and they're well trained and everyone has their weapon in their house and so they don't have problems with people trying to take them over or the government trying to you know become a tyranny over them the people are armed and they have very low crime rates by the way very low because when everybody has a machine gun who's going to break into your house it's that simple